Checking and servicing your battery is important because the stored charge, electrical charge in your battery helps you get your car started. So unless you like pushing your car or calling for a tow truck or uh, jumper cables and uh, getting a heart attack first thing in the morning, service and check your batteries every so often. These batteries are not maintenance free batteries but uh, you should do the same things with maintenance free batteries just keep a, skip a couple of steps here and there first uh, before we do anything as you can see these batteries are removed and we're going to discuss safety inside the battery the electrolyte is sulfuric acid and this is what sulfuric acid does to your clothing Let's take a look at me here is my sleeve that's how it looks like an elbow and uh, shoulder and here is my front and the other one and uh, the other sleeve there my other shoulder okay so when you handle the batteries wear appropriate clothes and uh, that uh, that are kind of sacrificial clothing do not tilt the batteries when you remove them much do not hug your batteries. Do not keep it close to your body if you can. Uh, don't be turning it upside down and don't be looking at it without safety goggles when it's uh, tilted on the side. Handle it like an open container, like a cup of water or a cup of coffee. Okay, but the uh, sulfuric acid inside, if it leaks out, it's gonna chew through your skin without any problem. On this copper penny and on this uh, galvanized mild steel washer, I placed uh, one droplet of uh, sulfuric acid each. We're going to see what kind of changes happen in the span of this short video. So maintenance free or non-maintenance free batteries, you might want to check the case. Because if you lose electrolyte in the battery, that might be due to a cracked case. And the way to check a case to make sure that it's solid is uh, look at it from the outside and uh, but uh, and from the bot and uh, look at the bottom too without tilting it but uh, one of the best ways to uh, do this is put it down on an ice and flat surface leave it there for a few minutes and uh, see if it leaves a wet spot behind if it does you got a leaky case if it doesn't it checks out fine. Next one is the level of your electro electrolyte. Now, on a non-maintenance free battery, it uh, you shouldn't uh, you shouldn't uh, fill the uh, fill up the electrolyte. But uh, on a whatever kind of battery you have, you have to keep an eye on the level. Regardless, <coughs> you might have a cracked out case and. Uh, to uh, do this, manufacturers just come down here with the camera a second, take a look at it from here. There, this is what manufacturers do they paint a line here for lower mark, one for the upper mark, and the level of electrolyte should be visible between those lines of reference. Even in the last cell, you can see it's there, and that one too. You can see, and all the level of electrolyte across all the cells should be the same. Okay, so that's just checking your electrolyte. Uh, one more thing you should check on the physical appearance of the battery is the battery terminals. The battery has a positive terminal, you can see a plus sign on the case here, and a negative battery, and I think you can see a negative sign on the case there for it. Uh, if the terminals on the battery appear to be without any sediment, let me just zoom in here a little bit so you can have a better view. If they appear to be without any sediment, any kind of deposits, uh, any structural deformity, then the battery terminal is in good condition. Check out the positive one on it. It seems to be fine. It doesn't have any deposits on it. It's nice and clean. 
and it does check out. Let's take a look at this other battery that I brought in for uh, uh, contrast. On this one the terminal is twisted off for a starter and uh, there you can see that even, even the uh, black plastic the top is uh, broken too and you can see the white plastic there exposed underneath. So this one is twisted out of place and it's not serviceable. And on the other side Oh gosh, we don't even have a terminal anymore. The cable was somehow Mickey Mouse in here there, held there with a screw. It was looking extremely unprofessional. You also have a visible uh, greenish blue deposit everywhere that can chip off fairly easily. If you have any deposits on the terminals of your battery, have a soft wire brush with thin wire in it not coarse wire with fine wire in it and uh, just uh, give your batteries, uh, battery terminals a light uh, brushing with wire brush. So that's the uh, physical appearance of the battery. Maintenance free or not maintenance free. Uh, the terminals should work. The case should work and the level of electrolyte should be uh, within the manufacturer's minimum and maximum marks. Now, on a maintenance free battery, you don't have to do this, but on a non-maintenance free battery, you're going to have to do this. Uh, if your electrolyte doesn't check, level doesn't check out, you're going to have to fill in some. So uh, this one has a plug type uh, cover there on top of the battery cell. Let me just zoom in a little bit. There, there's your little plug. and. Uh, There we go, that's a good picture. And uh, you can fill in water like that through a syringe, like anything you get at the pharmacy. To top up the electrolyte, you always add water uh, because the battery is next to an engine and due to its normal operation, it does heat up. It if it loses uh, anything from inside, it is water. So you only add water and distilled water. You're not adding any kind of hard water. You shouldn't add tap water <coughs> that has various unknown minerals in it, okay? So I'm gonna demonstrate how you can fill a cell with water. On this battery, other than this last one, which I added for reference, uh, I added some water in the last cell. There is no discernible level of anything in this battery. I'm gonna show you. This one has a screw cap for the battery cell. I'm gonna show you how you fill the battery with distilled water again with a syringe. You take some water in and uh, you fill it and you keep watching your level. So if you do it with a syringe like this, uh, that just uh, helps you uh, so you don't make a mess and the uh, and the top-up operation doesn't look like a five-year-old did it. Okay, so I think the water level is up about yay high. That's good. Put the cap back on. Check it at the front. Yes, indeed, it is between the minimum and maximum marks. There, you can see it moving there. Okay, so that's how you top up the electrolyte in it. Again, you add water on a non-maintenance free battery. On a maintenance free battery, you just leave it alone. Uh, the next thing to do, last thing to do, is check the level of charge in the battery. The better charge your batteries are, the uh, faster it starts your car. So uh, it's important that the batteries be fully charged. Now these are 12 volt batteries and we're going to use this little tester that measures volts, amps and some other things as well. So set it for volts and this is a 12 volt battery. We're going to check how many volts live inside this one. It comes with these probes that are attached to the unit and uh, it's not quite at zero but if you touch the probes it will go to zero. This one is an auto ranging 
that means it automatically selects millivolts for itself it also selected DC because the battery has DC power and at minus 0.0, .0 don't worry about the minus these two probes uh, typically the red one goes to the positive side marked with the plus sign on the case and the black one goes to the negative side and uh, I'm just gonna do it with one hand and just touch them together like so and take a reading on your instrument we've got 12.4 volts here DC and uh, if you uh, if you switch up the uh, the uh, probes and put the red one to the negative one and the black one to the positive one don't worry about it you're just gonna get a negative number so now you have minus 12.4 so just ignore the negative your battery still has a level of charge that provides you with 12.4 volts now this is a 12, point, 12 volt battery how come it's got 12.4 volts uh, that's normal that's how it should look like I'm gonna demonstrate on this battery another kind of measuring instrument another voltmeter this one it's a uh, it's uh, not a fully auto ranging voltmeter and uh, voltage needs to be selected we've got AC and we've got DC I want to select DC and I have to select say not 1000 not 200 20 volts should serve as well since we are measuring and looking for an amount of uh, 12 volts and uh, place your probes and uh, just ignore the negative we have four point when you have good contact you have 4.32 volts on this battery just switch it around so you can see the negative disappears 4.32 volts again there you go now I'll show you what happens if you select uh, 200 volts then uh, what the uh, instrument does is uh, you're just gonna lose one decimal digit and now you have 4.3 instead of 4.32 and if you select 2000 milliamps which is otherwise known as 2 volts then you're just gonna get an error code because it's uh, too much for the, for the uh, tester to handle and just gonna get an error code there there that's your error code okay so this battery has a volt of 4.35 volts it's flat it should be somewhere in the range of 12 okay now on a battery a 12 volt battery when you measure 12.6 volts that's when the battery is 100 percent charged we measured 12.4 volts and that indicates that the battery is 75 percent charged when you measure 12.2 volts the battery is 50 percent at its capacity when you measure 12.0 volts the battery is at 25 percent capacity and when you measure 11.8 volts the battery is dead flat on this one we got 4.3 it is ready for recycling and this one uh, the uh, voltmeter indicated 75% uh, charge another way to check out the level of charge is uh, you check out the concentration of the electrolyte with one of these bulb type instruments and uh, let's read the label on one of them here it says charge dead quarter half three quarter full and it's got colorful floating balls in it it says balls floating it says zero one two three and four it's got a total of four balls in it and they have different weights uh, depending on the concentration of sulfuric acid water uh, ratio it's uh, either one of them is gonna float two of them three of them or four of them if four of them float that means the battery is fully charged if three of them float 
it means the battery is 75% charged and so on. So let's check out the battery on which we measured with the voltmeter a level of charge of 75% so this is how you insert it you suck up some water into it and we've got two balls floating in this one yep that's two balls floating although we measured 12 point uh, what was that 12.4 volts only two of the colorful balls come afloat so I would say the battery is charged these ones are more reliable than voltmeters the battery is 50% good you get the same lettering on this one than on the uh, one we just previously read the same number of balls everything works the same way just for good measure let's take one more reading there you get two of them floating and the third one is kinda coming up so I would say uh, between 50 and 75 percent is the level of charge in this battery okay so that's that and then because we got a little bit of spill here I just wipe it with my sleeves and now you know why this jacket looks the way it does and then just cap the cell and you should check all the cells on this battery on this one we measured 4.3 volts dead flat so I am expecting none of these balls to float which is exactly what happens here here is the level of uh, electrolyte and all four balls are at the bottom just for good measure just double check it fill again and it's the same thing okay this one is dead flat guaranteed double checked quadruple checked last thing to do is look at these pennies uh, the, uh, sorry a penny and the washer see what kind of uh, damage they sustained over the span of this 15 minutes here here is the penny you don't see a lot of discoloration on it or a lot of deformity and the uh, and the uh, and the metal appears to be in good condition that's why m many of the uh, cables and connectors are made of copper as for the uh, as for the washer you can see uh, you can see some kind of foam on it and uh, what happens to the washer to the, ma to the uh, stainless steel when I place a drop of sulfuric acid on it you can see some you can see some bubbling uh, happening right away uh, you can see those many very small bubbles developing there I don't know if we can get any closer than this but uh, that's pretty much uh, that's how sulfuric acid eats away any metal and so you should be watchful with your skin and uh, you be careful out there checking your battery is a fairly simple business be safe